Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack and Die Hard. While station wagons have long been out of American favor nationwide, drive around New England and you will see lots of square back Subaru Outbacks. Now maybe it's because of their standard all wheel drive, or even that Subaru uses the word utility to describe it. All we know is that where Volvo wagons were once king, the Outback now reigns. And this all new fifth generation 2015 Outback shows no sign of surrendering that crown. While being the world's first sport utility wagon may have started out as a marketing tag, there's no denying that the Subaru Outback has come to embody the rugged all-weather, all-road station wagon. Visually like the companion legacy sedan, the new Outback is a little more vanilla and a little bit less Subaru unique. Yet you still know it is a Subaru and perhaps the Subaru. Familiar too is the way it drives, though there is a welcomed amount of steering and road feel added in, and a little bit more noise kept out. Some staffers found the suspension to be firmer than expected, though that clearly fits Subaru's rugged and livable image. Many other detail changes focused on what owners asked for, like a better navigation system, moving the info center from the dash to the gauge panel, a real temperature gauge, more safety features, and softer materials. It's mostly all for the good, though some of the useful info has become a little harder to read, and there's now way too many controls on the steering wheel. Seats, however, have taken a step back. They are a little more supportive, but also harder. Plus, the optional perforated leather rubs some of our staff the wrong way. No one can deny the wealth of interior space for the money, both in seating and in cargo room. The ladder climbs to 35.5 cubic feet with the seat backs up, 73.3 cubic feet with them down. Roof rails with retractable crossbars are again standard, and a power lift gate is now available. We're not sure how many people pony up for the 256 horsepower, 3.6 liter Boxer 6 with 247 pound-feet of torque, but it's very smooth as is the CVT transmission attached to it. Base Outbacks find the CVT fitted to a slightly enhanced 2.5 liter Boxer 4 with 175 horsepower. Regardless of engine choice, this Outback does enhance its rugged ways as the standard all-wheel drive system now includes X-Mode traction management with hill descent control and 8.7 inches of ground clearance. That makes it more capable than most crossover utilities. Despite that high ground clearance, there was very little roll through our slalom course. And while the Outback prefers a relaxed pace, there's very little understeer and only minor computer intervention. New active torque vectoring is standard using selective braking to the inside front wheel to help the Outback pivot around corners. As for acceleration, despite sounding very aggressive and jumping off the line, power build is slow and steady, taking 7.5 seconds to hit 60. The full quarter mile took us 15.8 seconds, crossing the line at 91 miles per hour. Simulated shifts are added into the CVT transmission. Reaction is better, but you still won't be fooled into thinking it's a real automatic. Panic braking produced lots of nosedive and an out of sorts rear end, as well as average stops from 60 of 133 feet. Dimensionally, the new Outback has grown a little bit in all directions, but you'd be hard pressed to notice it. 3.6R limited models get the highest level of content ever in an Outback, including HID headlights, dual stainless exhaust tips, 18-inch alloy wheels, turn signal mirrors, heated front and rear seats, and both wood and matte finish interior accents. New safety features include a standard rear view camera, the latest version of EyeSight, Subaru's rear vehicle detection system, and front seat cushion airbags. An electric parking brake is carryover, new as hill holder and incline start assist. Government fuel economy ratings are 20 city, 27 highway and 22 combined, which we matched perfectly on regular gas. 
but most buyers will give up some guts and go with the four-cylinder for a 25% economy gain and a combined rating of 28 MPG. That makes for a reasonable energy impact score of 11.8 barrels of oil used and 5.2 tons of CO2 emitted annually. That four-cylinder 2.5i Outback starts at $25,745. Our 3.6R Limited goes for eight grand more at $33,845. We think the 2015 Subaru Outback has received the perfect amount of change. It has been upgraded, sure, but it's still a unique vehicle with great appeal. It's likely more practical than most crossovers and definitely more efficient, performing equally well in daily commuting and weekend getaway duties. So yes, Americans are still buying wagons, and most of them are Subaru Outbacks.